in the mirror, celebrating every last moment. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to this vlog. I'm Sydney if you're new here. Okay, here's what we've got going on. So it's Sunday morning and I figured I would just take you guys through a Sunday in my life. I normally will wake up and go to the 8 a.m. church, but this morning I was like, I think 9.30 sounds good because I got to sleep in a little bit this morning, which is not really like me. And like I slept until like 7.15 and feel so refreshed and good. So the reason I don't normally go to 9.30 church is because everyone else is on that same like mindset. Okay, sleep in a little bit, enjoy my Sunday morning and then go to church and it is kind of a madhouse at that time but regardless we are just kind of having a little chill morning this morning over here I had rice cake with some fruit I sat outside I had my greens that ice rolled and if you watch my last vlog I am moving right now into my new house this is my last week here so yesterday I did like shoes sandals sneakers all of that kind of stuff and I feel like I did quite a lot of packing but it seems like I haven't even scratched the surface like I still I still have so much to do so today I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of my active wear I'm going to like go through my bathroom and like figure out what I'm bringing to the next place I got a couple things in like I think I got new bedding in or new towels in from Brooklyn and I ordered both and I think it's my new towels that came in but I also ordered a set of um, king sheets for the new bed because this one, this is all Brooklyn, but this is going to the guest room and I'm just gonna keep this same bedding at the new one because I really like how this looks together. So let's kind of get this morning started and then I'm gonna open up my Brooklyn package. Thanks so much Brooklyn for sponsoring today's YouTube video and just kind of like tidy up in here, get ready for church and let's do it. I've talked all year off about Brooklyn over the years and I've used him for quite some time for literally everything. Like I don't have a single bath towel in this home that is not Brooklyn and actually my whole entire family like my mom is who kind of got me on to brooklyn a long time ago i always thought like when i was younger i did not think that like sheets or towels really made a difference until you have nice sheets or towels or vice versa if you have ones that are not quality it makes a very big difference here's what the super plush towels look like these ones are my favorite i think that they just make you feel like you're at a spa so I always get these, they're the only ones that I have. And I got the move-in bundle this time because I knew I needed more hand towels, washcloths, I needed a bath mat, and then obviously more towels. It's less expensive to do it that way. You get 15% off rather than getting them all separate. I think it's so important to invest in home goods that are good quality and you know will last a long time. And Brooklyn and products are definitely my tried and true. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews and their towels don't just feel great, but they also look great. And there's something to match everyone's home. You can mix and match over 20 20 colors and patterns. So right now, Brooklinen actually has a Memorial Day sale going on until the 31st where you can get 20% off their site. And if you're seeing this after the 31st of May, then you can still use my code, which I'll make sure everything's in my description box below. Thank you so much, Brooklinen, for sponsoring today's YouTube video. I'm your biggest fan. I absolutely, we're just gonna have the entire new house, all Brooklinen sheets, all Brooklinen towels, a robe thrown in there. <laughs> okay, let's put these away and let's get ready for church. All right, time to do my makeup and I'm kind of in a rush right now. I always do this. I think I have like so much time to get ready and then I end up, okay, it's time to, it's time to hurry it on up, girly girl. I think it takes me like two seconds to do my makeup.
Okay, what do we think about this dress for church? I feel like it's gonna be cute. The only thing is, is it is still kind of a little bit wrinkly. Let's put it on and see what we think. Uh, I don't really feel like like seaming it and whatnot. I don't think I have time. No, I definitely don't. I was gonna wear that dress and then I put it on and I snapped the button right off. So that was a good move. We are wearing this now. <laughs> All right, home from church. Here's what's on the agenda today. I'm gonna get changed and get a workout in. I'm thinking probably like a little full body, maybe a little bit of cardio. It's really nice out, so maybe an outdoor workout would be fabulous. And then go straight from there to go to Whole Foods to get some groceries. So I think that is what I have so far. Other than that, I don't really think anything crazy. I know later on we've got to like run and get, um, Jay had gotten his pants hemmed literally like two months ago or something from Lululemon and they're just now ready. So we've got to go pick those up. And yeah, I think that's probably about it. Nothing crazy, a little bit of packing, a little bit of work, get ready for the week and yeah. So let's get to it. Let's get ready for the gym. All right, here's my outfit for today's workout. I always am trying to like set you guys up on something and just fumble around my camera. But here it is, it's this Vitality set. I've shown it in a purple color before. And then here's the moment. Oh, the pink hokas with the all white fit. You can't tell me that's not awesome. Gonna go do, I think Jay and I agreed that we're gonna do a little workout together. And we're gonna do like a, what would you say? Kind of like a full body cardio type workout, Jay? Something of that sort. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store. Last full grocery haul in this place. No. Crazy. Crazy. I keep doing that. I'm like almost the last day that we're getting ready for church here. Almost this, the last this. Like it's just, we're just celebrating every last moment. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna ask Jay some questions and if he answers them incorrectly. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. Gotta know everything. What was the model of my first car? Including the year. Oh, wow. You know this, Dude, I've told you, you many times. 1998. Yeah? Yeah. 1998. <laughs> It was a Lexus. BMW. BM <laughs> <laughs> that is so cheap. That is so cold. Dude, you're you're ruining it. <laughs> All right. That's okay, enough. now it's you're just your nose hair. That's enough. Weird. Okay. Okay. We Whatever. We'll let it slide that place. time. We'll let it slide that time. All right. What was the name of my cat? She lived to be, I think, 19 years old. So Dude. she's been in my life for a long time. This, you should know this. Wow. Three. Lizzie. Close. One more guess. Libby. Libby. What the? Libby. <laughs> it is Libby. Okay. Okay. Um, where did I get my middle name from? Mimi. Mom. Come on, you can't, this is ruining the game. You no, it's this. not. Ruining you can't dunk okay, my head okay. in there like that. Okay. One, you gotta be two. Gentle. I will. Okay, get a little closer then. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, you so. You have the same little name as my mom. We're all Marie. Yep. My mom, me, and other mama. <laughs> uh. 
Growing up, was I a BMXer or a skateboarder? BMX. BMX is biking. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You'd ride your little BMX bike to McDonald's with your friends <laughs> and get chased by the cops <laughs> and hide. Hey, chill. Watch <laughs> that, that same cop might see this. <laughs> um, what was my first vehicle? It we, was. Oh, we won't do year and all that. Okay, it's a pickup truck that I think is blue. Blue pickup truck? Red. Red pickup no, truck. It's maroon. No. It's maroon. That's, wait, you had a pickup <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I could have sworn it was a maroon pickup truck. It was a white Jeep. Dude, when was the maroon pickup truck? College. That was like, yeah, that was college. Okay, you get one more. <laughs> one more. All right. Um, wait, I do know that, too. I feel like I knew that one. <laughs> That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Ooh, people right. do this in the morning to wake them up. What time was I born? Dude, I don't even know what time I was born. <laughs> what time was I born? 9.51. Nope. What time? Morning or night? I'll give you two more tries. Morning or night? Morning. Can I just say the hour, like, one, two, three, four? Yes. Seven o'clock? No. Six o'clock? No. Eight o'clock? No. no. Okay. <laughs> It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. <laughs> loser, loser. Dude, I give you so many easy ones. That was, good. <laughs> groceries all complete I only need a couple things my last full grocery haul for the week uh, in this apartment so got some stuff at Whole Foods and then went to Home Depot to grab a couple more boxes we are going to make a freaking dent we're gonna put a dent in this apartment we are I'm going to pack my leggings my sports bras my sweats my sweatshirts we're doing that all today we've got this so go home unload all of my groceries and get to work we're gonna throw on some worship music and get to work okay you hear me hold me to it because this is what i'll do i'll be like okay i've got this long list of things that i want to get done and this morning we went to 9 30 church so i like started trying to get like all of this stuff done before church and then i was flustered and it put me in a bad mood I think like I must be starting my period soon because I am like weirdly emotional about everything and I like put on this dress and the button popped off and I was like ah and then I put on another shirt and like that was driving me nuts so I have just been like in a weird flustered mood today we're gonna be productive we're gonna oh lock Shay out you told me to lock the car I lock the car lock the car Sunday Chipotle so good Sunday Chipotle anyways head home Let's get to work. This guacamole, Jay, unfrickin' real. So good. Made with love, baby. Made with love. Okay, we're making some progress. I've got all my leggings in there. And actually, I have done a good job at not like hoarding leggings just because I don't wear leggings that often. So all of my leggings right here. And then now we're doing some biker shorts, which I do have quite a few pairs of biker shorts. But when I moved from Alabama to, or when I moved from Tuscaloosa to here, I got rid of so many pairs of leggings that I don't wear. So that has helped because, I mean, when was the last time you guys saw me wear leggings? I wear them like probably maybe once a week if that okay i'm impressed with myself we've got biker shorts gone lounge shorts gone leggings athletic shorts sweatpants and yoga pants bam okay just took off my makeup y'all i don't know how i feel about this whole no eyelash extension thing we got going on 
feel kind of like a naked mole rat just a little especially once I just took off some mascara I don't know how I feel about it yet I keep going back and forth because I'm like I love the feeling of not having to keep up with it but man do I feel way better like I still have a couple like scragglers and I already feel like a naked mole rat and they're not even all gone so uh yeah we'll see how that lasts I think once I get a lash lift and tint I'll feel a little bit better but like even with a couple lash extensions left I still feel eh, like I want to fill so we'll see about that but um I think that I'm all good for tonight with packing for the most part so I'm gonna end off this vlog and I'm gonna get some computer work done kind of just like get my bearings straight before the new week and I will see you guys in my next vlog I hope you guys enjoyed my little Sunday in my life and make sure that you guys subscribe because lots of moving content coming up my birthday is this week we've got lots happening and I'm so excited to show you guys the new house so excited to move in and just Ah, there's so many new things that are happening. So, and also my launch of my One Up products. Long story short, there's gonna be lots of vlogs coming up here soon. So make sure to subscribe. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.